Hey guys, it's Hannah and I'm here today with my June wrap up and my July TBR. Okay guys, get ready for a pretty decently long video. I feel like this one's going to be a little long, so we'll see how much I can edit away. But we are going to kick off this video with my June wrap up. June is a pretty successful month for me. I am actually really proud of myself. This is probably my best month so far, so let's just kick on into it. First, I'm going to talk about an audiobook that I read in the month of June, and it is Pretty Little Liars. I was just wanting something fast and easy to read, and I saw that this was available in my library for my audiobook, so I downloaded it, and then I listened to it all in one, like, sitting. <laughs> it's super easy, fast read if you're wanting to have just a fun fluff read, definitely pick it up. I did only rate it three stars out of five because I do think that I am not the target audience, so I was a little bit more lenient with it. Um, but it's really fluff and I love the TV show and so I thought why not try to pick up the books and see what those are like. Let me tell you, I was really surprised by the descriptions of the girls versus the the girls in the TV show that I was so surprised that they weren't different. So that kind of threw me off and that had to like, I had to get past that part to really get into the book because I was wanting to picture the girls that I watched on the TV show. But after I got past that, it was a decently entertaining book. Next up, I read these two comic books. I saw Sam from Thoughts on Tomes talk about these and she said that they were kind of like Dungeons and Dragons and girl power put together and I have been seeing everybody rave about these books but the name threw me off so I constantly like just like I don't read that that sounds dumb I'm not gonna pick it up and as soon as I heard that description I was sold so I decided to pick up Rat Queens and again this is like Dungeons and Dragons style comic books with girl power and it's it's so funny this is my first comic book that I've picked up or graphic novel whatever you whatever the actual terminology is I'm not quite sure um, this is my first graphic novel slash comic book that I picked up that I've liked as much as Saga so that is saying a lot because Saga is my number one all-time favorite comic book but this is slowly creeping up so I read one and two and I gave these both 5 out of 5 stars. They're so good. They've got the same sense of humor as Saga. So if you like Saga and you're wanting something else in that same, like, crude humor, and it, 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 I just love it. Definitely pick these up. Don't let the names uh, deter you from picking them up. Because they definitely did, and now I regret that I didn't pick these up sooner. <laughs> Another comic book that I read this month is Civil War, and I got this comic book in my Marvel Collector Quarter box this month. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. The theme was Women of Power, so that was really cool that I got to see more female characters in this comic book. Again, I'm really about girl power right now with it, so it worked really well. I did give this a 4 out of 5 stars. I liked the storyline. I actually am considering picking up the second one, which so far I haven't been inclined to continue on with the series that they've given us in the Marvel Collector Core boxes, but this one I am the closest I'm going to come to it, so if I do see it, I might definitely pick it up. Next up is another audiobook, and I'm going to pop it up right here. It's the Friday Night Knitting Club. This book, again, I was just scrolling through my library of audiobooks because I I love listening to audiobooks when I'm cleaning the house or I'm getting ready in the morning or taking a shower. That is what I go to. I don't go to, to music too much. I would much rather listen to an audiobook. So I've been all about the audiobooks this year. So we, I picked up this book and it was on a whim. I had no idea what it was about. And so I went into this one blind. So this book is about a girl who had um, an out of wedlock child with someone and the father disappears from the entire like child's life for like the first 13 years and she is like a strong woman building her shop of a knitting shop and it's got knitting metaphors entwined with the storyline and it's a big knitting group that they she meets all of these friends at her shop it's kind of a cool concept. I am planning on doing a review later, so I will not get too much into it more than that. But um, I gave this one a 3 out of 5 stars, and I will explain why in my review coming up probably next week. Next up, guys, I actually finished it. 
Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mess. I buddy re read this one with Gabby from Gabs About Books, and it was so much fun buddy reading with her, so it definitely helped me push through this. She finished a lot better or a lot faster than I did with this. I kind of dragged, I let it get me down in a few spots, so I dragged my feet a little bit, <laughs> but I did finish it, and I gave this a, I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars, this is by far my favorite book so far, I loved the other characters' point of views, it wasn't just Selena, I loved that we got to meet the witches in this book, and so many awesome things, Manon has got to be one of my favorite new characters, um, and I'm really excited to see where the story goes. Also, guys, I finally, finally finished <laughs> The half Blood Prince. This is by far all, my all-time favorite book of Harry Potter. I think it always will be. It'll always be my favorite movie. But uh, it just took me forever to reread this, this year because we reread read them every year. Uh, five out of five stars. That's an easy one. So those are all of my June wrap-up reads. And then now we are going to get into the July TBR. First up on my July TBR, I am reading Queen of Shadows by Sarah J. Mass. This is the fourth book in the series of the Throne of Glass series. I am buddy reading this with Gabby since we had such a good time buddy reading Era of Fire that we decided to read this one as well. And I'm so excited for Empire of Storms to come out, which I think comes out in September, I think. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you know exactly when it comes out. But, um, so if I've started reading this so far, I am loving this. It really started out really good, and I'm excited to get through this one this month. Next up, I have a graphic novel that I don't know too much about, but Trev has read this already this month, and I'm excited to read this as well, and it will be my first Brandon Sanderson, and it is White Sand. He just came out with this a few days ago, and we picked it up on the day that it was released, so I'm excited to get into this. It's about magic and betrayal and sand, obviously. <laughs> um, I don't know too much about this, but he says it was really good, so I'm excited to jump into this one. Plus, the art style is just beautiful. I love that style. Alright guys, I am finally going to finish this, and I have no idea if I'm going to reread it. Rereading it starting in, like, November, which was when I usually reread the Harry Potter series, but I'm finally going to finish it. We are listening to this on audiobook for the first time, so that's exciting. Um, and we are already a good chunk away through, so going to definitely be finishing up The Deathly Hallows this month. Next up, I am so excited to be reading this, Bloodlines. I have been wanting to read this ever since I finished the Vampire Academy series, and this book is the sister, or this series is the sister series of Vampire Academy, but it follows Sydney the Alchemist, and she takes Jill into protective custody, and they are down in Florida is where this book is set, and I'm really excited to read this one this month. And I've actually already started reading Bloodlines already, so I am loving it so far, and I know that I am going to want to pick up Golden Lily again. So as soon as I finish that one, I think I'm going to hop into this one, and it will be exciting because I love the Vampire Academy series, so I'm excited to de delve into this series for the first time. When we picked up White Sands, the Brandon Sanderson graphic novel that just recently came out, we were on our way to the checkout, and we saw this, and it was too cute not to get, and it was the Star Wars ABC 3PO, and it is a um, Star Wars themed ABC book that is super cute with different, like it goes through all of the letters and it all has connecting Star Wars themes, and it's so cute. We have our little niece who is going to be one coming and visiting us, so it will be fun to have some kids books to read to her, and just to, uh, to keep for us in general because these are super cute. <laughs> Next up, I've already read this, but since we are already in July, that I'm counting this to my July TBR, which is Rat Queens. This is the volume three. Again, I'm loving this. Uh, I've already read the first two before. Technically, I've already read this one too, but it's in my July TBR. So stay tuned for my July wrap-up to know what I think of this one. But if you like Saga, I definitely recommend The Rat Queens. Another one that I have already read this month, so it's kind of cheating, but uh, it was in July, so I had to mention it in my July wrap-up, or my July TBR, and it is Saga. Guys, I am so excited this came out. 
I didn't realize that it was coming up and then Trevor told me that it was being released like a week ago and I freaked out and I was like we are going the day that it released so we went and I picked it up and I flew through it I'm really excited about this uh, I'm just gonna give you a little spoiler loved this also the end D like make comments saying spoilers so I don't want I don't want anybody else to be spoiled but if you read this already, let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought about the last page. I'm so excited for the next series. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold out for the next volume. Ah, just so good. And last but not least of my giant TBR for July is Siren, the Siren by Kira Cass. I have been wanting to read this and I've been wanting to read more summary books because my books have not been too summery for summer. And I love reading summary books in summer. It's one of my favorite things, like beach reads. So I'm going to try to get to this. I really want to read a beachy read. I've been debating about reading um, the Summer I Turned Pretty series, rereading them again because that's very summery books and I just want to be enveloped in summery books. But I'm going to pick this one up and see if this will quench my thirst for summery books. So that is all right there of my June wrap up and my July TBR. I talked about quite a few books down here. So let me know if you have any of my books on here on your TBR or what you're reading for this summer. I will talk to you guys down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.